Hello, hello everyone, and welcome again to another LEGO Bionicle video. For today, guys, I have another Bionicle mock for you all, and this time it is a Prime Galatorian mock. As you all know, I have done a Prime Galatorian mock on the likes of Tardock. Now I'm doing one on Ranu. So here we have it, guys, the Prime Galatorian for the Fire Tribe, Ranu. So I just want to quickly clear something in the air. So the thing is that I know you guys mentioned in my first Prime Galatorian mock that Tardock looks exactly like Gresh. Oh, it looks like Gresh. It's no different to Gresh. Or the armor, just added armor and it still looks like Gresh. I can understand where you're coming through with that, guys. The problem is though, I did mention this in my video, if you guys did listen, that I am limited with the amount of green pieces in order to actually build my Prime Galatorian mock. So if you guys did hear that, then you would have understood that I can't really do anything else other than maybe just modify some pieces. Now, as for the likes of Ranu here, because I have colors that match up with his original build, I can then modify it a lot more. I have the likes of Bolta here, I also have Ranu himself, and of course I have a few other you know, unique red pieces not typically found from the G2 Barnacle sets. And so I could, you know, I mixed it up a bit, I changed him up, added different things to it and uh, I think I, I, at the end of the day I really like the product um, I hope you guys do too and what we're gonna do is guys we're gonna start from the bottom work our way up towards the top okay so here we go guys so looking at the feet first you can see that I've just used the standard Malum feet the only differences that I've done is I've added in the fire elemental kind of claws that Malum does have to Ranu's uh, feet there you can see how awesome that looks guys I really love the elemental look to it and it kind of just gives off that fire vibe and I don't know it just looks really nice and that's the reason why I added those in not only that you can just see I've also used I've just used these standard leg pieces that uh, Malam does have the only difference is that I've added in some Borok pieces there just to kind of use as fillers And I know I should have used them in black, but I couldn't find any So I've had to stuck with blue connectors there. It's unfortunate, but I can't do much there moving on right on up You can see that I've also added in just the standard uh, Leg armor shell. I couldn't find any other colors just to cover this up So I've had to stick with it I couldn't use any G2 red as well because it's a different red and they just look ugly and I, all I did was oh whoopsies I've just added in some horns there I don't know why I added those in just to give him, you know, just to give him a bit more aggression since he doesn't really have anything uh, going on in the upper part of his leg. Not only that, if we move on up just a bit more, you can also see that I've given him this groin kind of armor piece there just because there wasn't really anything down here. So that's what I used as a filler there. I thought it looks like a great idea and um, it just goes well with my set here. And of course, moving right on up, you can see that I've given him just the standard Malam body torso piece. Now, there's nothing else I could have really used to cover up his body there. And maybe I could have added in some fillers in there, but to be honest, I liked it how it was. It looks nice, lean but big, and definitely goes well with Ranu's build. Knowing that, you can also see that I've attached on, interesting enough guys, a... Uh, Thornax launcher on his shoulder there, you know something unique something different instead of just placing it You know on his arm or sorry his hands, you know being held in his hand It's just a, a something unique something different. So it's kind of like a shoulder uh, Launcher it kind of launches from his shoulder and I think that looks pretty cool kind of reminds me of uh, Gundam If you guys do watch any of the Gundam videos or any Gundam anime You will know that a lot of them have cannons coming out from the side of their shoulders And I thought that would be a great idea for a Galatorian such as Ranu. So moving on to the arms now as you can see there I've kind of bulked up his arms just to make him look bigger and uh, of course you know to really prep him up for battle. So you can see there I've added in some Ranu limb pieces there and I've attached it on with his feet. I thought it'd go so well you know adding a bit of uh, kind of like a gold keto orange yellowy type theme instead of just you know using standard red color as you see with a lot of his body pieces. So I thought of adding something a bit different and I thought it looks great on him you know some big broad armor uh, or not really armor shells, but broad shoulders, and it just goes well with the set. Not only that, I've just given him the standard um, arm piece there that connects onto his hand. So moving on towards the back there, you can see I've also given him some big broad armor shells in the back just to protect him, of course, um, for battle, because you never know who can attack you from the back, and because at the end of the day, he didn't really have anything in the back going on, so <clears throat> adding those in was a great idea. Now, not only that, this is typically known as, I think, the fire blades for Ranu. He has one fire blade and he has one shield. Now, the thing is though, with this piece here, what happens is the more fire that he illuminates or produces, the more power he has. And so, you know, I think it was a great idea. So, Ranu, technically speaking, if his fire 
um, literally gets extinguished, he's gone. He's dead. And uh, the more power, the more flames. I thought it was a great idea and I thought I'd add that in. Just a nice little fire elemental theme there, um, which goes well with my mock. Now looking down below here, you can also see that I've kind of given him some added blade armor pieces in the bottom of uh, on the upper part of his leg but the bottom half of his body I don't know why I added those in cause I, don't, I really don't know why I added those in because they just look pretty cool and um, I didn't know where else I could really put them but uh, let me know in the comments below what you all think and then as mentioned there guys is the fire kind of feet that he does have and you know you can imagine feet coming oh sorry flames coming out of the back of your feet there especially for the likes of a potential you know fire elemental uh, prime gladiatorian since uh, he was blessed I guess in a way blessed or you know privileged to have gotten the powers that he has from the likes of Toa Matanui using the Kenohi Ignika. So the last thing to look at guys is the weapons just before I get into the articulation so I didn't really change much with the weapons I've given him his standard shield there of course but the whole idea about his shield here it is covered with a fire elemental look now I couldn't really necessarily add anything that can give him that fire elemental look and the reason why I didn't use his original red shield was just because it looks so small on the set it just did not make sense at all so I just kind of stuck with using these blades here from uh, I can't remember which G2 set but um, I'm sure you guys know but anyway that's the whole reason why it's unfortunate but uh, I had to stick with that to be honest it looks great with this set don't get me wrong but at the end of the day, of course, you want a fire red elemental type of shield. Now, not only that, you can also see I've given him his fire sword. But the only thing, though, is, guys, that these fire swords here are actually on fire. And not only that, they are tri-fire swords. So there's three of them there. One kind of protruding out a bit more than the other two. And uh, I thought it was a great idea. Now, I didn't really, you know, make it more. I didn't make it fancy or uh, big. You know, it doesn't have to be. I left it how it was. And I think it looks great as it is. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you all think. Now, not only that, I have also given him, as mentioned, the Thornax launcher on his shoulder there. Kind of like a cannon. I thought it was a great idea. Come on, guys. you got to agree with me here. That is a great, great feature to add. And honestly, guys, if this product was on the markets right now, I would honestly buy this 100%. He looks so cool. I'd literally buy him over Malum any day. Um, just I don't know. I know it's my own creation. I might be kind of being biased. But let me know in the comments below what you all think. I think this is a beautiful set. And um, I don't know, I just really, really like it. It just looks so good. Like, there's nothing I can say. Um, or maybe other than the fact that the two blades that are kind of sticking out from the back. Um, you know, there's nothing really much I can really say that's bad about the set. It looks like a Galactorian. He f honestly feels like a Galactorian. And at the end of the day, it's, it's Ranu here, guys. Ranu, the Fire Tribe leader. Okay, so with articulation, you know, there is a reasonable amount of articulation. I need to kind of just, you know, hold the set out randomly. But here, feet articulation is pretty standard, guys. You can move the leg to however you want. You can get some nice, awesome poses. And, of course, you can bend the knee. But there is only a limited movement just because of the shield piece here, which do, does kind of uh, stop the movement. But, you know, you can get almost at a 90-degree angle, which is uh, pretty good, of course. And then, of course, you, you know, you also have standard just full-on leg articulation there so that's good as well just like that now moving on up towards the head um, need to lift up the camera there there we go you can see that there's also you know a reasonable amount of head articulation just like that let me just kind of there we go there's a light there just a bit of light for you all but just like that as you can see there you know standard articulation you can move it around um, it's honestly freely movable. The only problem that I may kind of have is just in the elbows possibly, just because for example, with the Thornax launcher being in the way, you can't really, you know, move the elbow. But if you move the shield, then you definitely can, just like that, 90 degrees, same thing applies. And then of course you can articulate the arm, sorry, the hand, uh, it's pretty standard. Oh, and the Thornax fruit kind of fell off there. And typically, you know, just standard, you know, arm full-on articulation there for you all then at the end of the day you can also move the the fire blade in the back there his source of his power just like that you can move it there but of course you'd like it centered in the middle there just like that so then it kind of protrudes forward upwards and so then the enemy can see the flame knowing that <clears throat> he's got so much power when his fire is blazing hot 
There we go. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it. Wow, look at that guys. Just better lighting there for you all. I know it looked a bit dark at the end there just because my light wasn't really shining properly. But there you go, guys. That is my Bionicle Mark, the Prime Gladiatorian, and the leader of the Fire Tribe, Ranu. I hope you have all enjoyed this, guys. If you have, smash that thumbs up button, of course, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, guys. So then you guys are all up to date with any new videos I do post out. As always, guys, thank you. Thank you again so much for supporting and watching my videos. I really all hope you guys have a great day. I will be talking to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.